lovely. Yeah, is that a fried bread? Yeah, it's plenty, Mum. Yeah. Oh, I wonder where I was in the early bar. Where do you think? Blimey, that's not my supper there, you know. <laughs> Shut up, you lazy specimen. Shut up! I don't think all him's up yet. Ah. Oh. She is now. <laughs> well, I better go and get her breakfast. I don't know, I understand it. Week after week, day after day, shouting and swearing at one another. I can't hear myself eat. I mean, think, no. Oh, <laughs> just do it, love it. Ow! Love it. I'll get you for that. Oh, no. Anyway, I read in the Sunday papers where it said, you can't tell the difference between love and hate. They said that, didn't they? Yes. Well, I can tell the difference. Can when you... you get up and get dressed, you miserable so so oh! <laughs> And that's hate. <laughs> Coming down. Yeah, head first. <laughs> right, who won that round then? Oh, leave her alone. Mind your own business. Mind my own business is my business. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm a nervous wreck, you know. We've had this year in, year out. Why can't you two live like a normal married couple? I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God I'm not married then. Oh, here he comes. Jackie Pallo without air. <laughs> Good morning, all. Morning, Arthur. What's morning about it? What's got into you? You, mate, you've got no consideration for any other people in this house. What have you said to him now, Olive? Nothing. You must have said something. You've upset poor Stanley. It's not her. It's the both of you. It's the way you shout at one another. What are you talking about? We haven't behaved any differently this morning. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> Look, mate, I'll thank you to keep your nose out of private conversations between myself and my wife. That's a laugh. Private. Blimey, everybody down the street can hear you. <laughs> Have you been eavesdropping? <laughs> right. In future, Olive, will you shut up? What about you, you big foghorn? Seconds out. <laughs> when you talk to me, kindly shut your mouth. <laughs> you keep out of it. Look, Mum, I can't keep out of it unless I get out of it. Well, oh. get out of it, then. Oh, charming. <laughs> Ain't it a fine state of affairs when I've got to go to work to get a bit of peace and quietness? You oh, see I've... what you've done, Olive? You've upset poor Stanley. <laughs> What's this, then? The eleven's is at eight o'clock. Huh? Cut the tea. Yeah. Thanks. I couldn't eat my breakfast at home this morning. Why not? Ah, oh, Olive and Arthur are at it again. Ah, oh, yeah. Still rucking, are they? Yeah. Stop it, mate. The blimey, I'm so tired. Ah, well, as long as they're happy, here, give us the sausage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the morning, isn't it? Careful, love. He's in a rotten mood this morning. Always is these days. Oh, I'm sorry, love. It's just that Olive and Arthur, they were at it this morning. Cool, the old house was shaking. Oh, you'll make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did quite mean it like that, love. Come on. While we're on the subject, come and sit down here. Right, come on, you layabouts. Come on. Oh, and you too. Come on. You'll do out. <laughs> Butter? What? <laughs> well. <laughs> Can't you, can't you eat off a plate like a normal human being? But... <laughs> it was an accident. An accident? You do realise, don't you, that that uniform is valuable company property? Valuable? God, I don't want to tell you how old this is, but every time we go past the cemetery gates, this uniform wants to get off. <laughs> Very funny. Well, you'll have to get that dry cleaned, you know that, don't you? I oh, doubt it's only the dirt holding it together. Yeah. <laughs> It'll last hundred years, your one, then, won't it? Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Arthur. Oh, yeah? I shall want you tonight. Oh, cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> to do overtime. Ah, uh, sorry, Blackie, we've got a date tonight, and we love. Oh, yeah. What about you, then, Butler? Well, I ain't going out with you. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> to oh, do I... overtime. Oh, no, you meant. No, no, I'm just knocked out, mate. I've got a domestic trouble, you know. Oh, uh, not your brother in law and that half daft sister again, is it? Hey, yeah, watch it. It's come to a point. Well, I well, um, enjoy coming to work. Oh, good. We well, can get out there and have a ball in, can't you? Come on. <laughs> Give me a butt out. Oh, uh, all right, all right. 
Do you know what Oliver and Arthur ought to do? They ought to go and see a managed guidance counsellor. Hey, what a marvellous idea. Yeah, come on, darling. Hey, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that for you, Jack. It's a good idea, that way. Right? Yeah. Dee, 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 dee. Dee, 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 Lay at it again. Oh, no, love. That's still carried on from this morning. <laughs> Didn't Arthur go to work? No. Well, you know what young lovers are. Hey, you love young you lovers? Look, no, I can't stand this anymore. As a matter of fact, old Jack, Jack's given me a marvellous idea. I'm going to tell him about it. Right? See? Oh, right. You can't cook, you can't sew, and you can't do anything a wife should do. Well, there's one thing you've forgotten. Oh, no, I haven't, but I am <laughs> trying. Oh, no, no, <laughs> I think you two ought to go and see a marriage guidance counsellor. You what? What? <laughs> there is nothing wrong with our marriage. I'm perfectly happy, thank you. Well, you might be. What about the rest of us? I'm not married to the rest of you. Oh, well, Stan, now, Stan, you keep out of it. Anyway, marriages are made in heaven. This one wasn't. This was made in the back row of stores in the Gaumont. <laughs> oh, yeah, they were showing love is a many splendid thing. Oh, no, they weren't. They were showing from here to eternity. Yeah. And they weren't joking. Here we go again. Yeah, well. Listen, shut up a minute. I still think you should go and see a marriage guidance counsellor. I will thank you to keep your nose out of my marital affairs. Oh, Excuse me. Oh, no, no. Something's got to be done about it. Be reasonable. Well, that's it. Something's got to be done. Somebody's got to clear out. Oh, Stan, where would you go? <laughs> I don't mean me. Olive, if Arthur won't take you to see a marriage guidance counsellor, I will. As a matter of fact, I've made up my mind. Get your hat and coat and we'll go there now. Yes. Go on, come on, we go. No, 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 for a moment, uh, Mrs. Butler and Mr. Butler. Yes, listen to the man. Yes. Yes, you see, I understand your concern, of course, but neither of you are actually married to your sister and daughter, respectively. Well, that would be illegal, wouldn't it? <laughs> so far, I've heard three different points of view simultaneously. But I've not heard the other side of the story because your husband is not here. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's <laughs> now, may I give you some advice? Oh, yes. All you do is sit around the home all day doing nothing. Oh, no, she's only doing nothing. I'm trying to tell you. You, you must make yourself more interesting and attractive to your husband. Try to make him find you more exciting. Olive, more exciting? <laughs> and you two must help. Yes. yes, you must make yourself more sensual. Yeah. Cover yourself with cologne. Yes. And at dinner, surprise him with your puddings. <laughs> 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 what did you think wish to come here years ago? Ooh, yeah, that yeah. looks nice. I like that. <laughs> Arthur, Mum, Mum, come on, quick. Let's get out of here. I'll turn the light out. Oh, my baby, you look lovely. Oh, come on. Hello, Arthur. How are you, mate? Have a nice day. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, good. That's why I go and have my grub now. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It's it's in the in the in the parlour. You know, we'll it in there for you. Well, it's all. It's all. Hey, what's your? Who's there? <laughs> Me. What are you standing there with all the lights off for? What's all the can... What's the matter, the bulb's gone or something? <laughs> I thought we could have a lovely evening. What are you on about? I thought it would be more romantic. More romantic than what? <laughs> yeah, just, just one moment. Just a minute. <laughs> what do you think you're going as? Come over here. Where are you? Put your arms <laughs> on the sofa. Come over here. Oh, 
Yes, Arthur? Is that a new dress? Oh, Arthur, you notice. <laughs> How much did it cost? And what the hell have you done with your hair? I was trying to make myself more attractive for you. My God, no wonder you turned the lights out. <laughs> Don't you fancy me? I defy any man to fancy you dressed up like a dog's dinner like that. <laughs> I'm now going off to the pub. I shall return for my evening meal when you get out of that fancy dress. <laughs> Going. Has he gone down to pub to get the champagne? Did he like your frock? He said I looked like a dog's dinner. <laughs> yeah, I know you do, but didn't he fancy you a bit? <laughs> he said he'd defy any man to fancy me. Well, that just goes to show you how wrong he can be, doesn't it, darling? At least I, I know a lot of people who fancy you. Who? Well, I can't think of him. <laughs> well, yeah, they do, they do. You don't have to kid me, Stan. I'm not honest, and I'll tell you something else. I'm going to prove it to you. I'll get it, Jack. Ah, hey? That's all right. I said, I'll get it, mate. Don't worry. Mm. Thanks very much. 60 there, right? You can find it exactly right, darling. Thank you. Well? Well, what? Well, you bought me dinner. What do you want me to do for you? Ah, uh, well, Jack, actually, I... Look, mate, uh, I want you to do me a favour. Ah, sure, yeah. It's you like. You name it. Oh, God, look. I, uh, I want you to come round home and, and chat up while I live. Here's your dinner back. No! <laughs> Look, I'm serious. Yes, so am I. Oh, look, I'll put you in the picture. You know you said that they should go and see a marriage guidance counter. Yeah, well. Well, I went round there, it all went up the spout, you know. He came in and said he didn't find her attractive, she was in tears, and I thought it'd be good if you, you know, came round here, you know, talked to her and stopped her feeling so ugly. Love it, mate. I'm a bus conductor, not a plastic surgeon. <laughs> Listen, I am not going to go round here to be punched up by Arthur. Well, that's all right. I can, I can arrange for him not to be there. Oh, yeah, that's marvellous, isn't it? I'm there chatting up his wife behind his back. He walks in, I finish up with the Sunday papers. <laughs> Look, all I'm asking is a friend to go round here and talk to her. What, man to man? Man to man. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your supper, Arthur. Who cooked it? Oh, I did. Not very much, I'm afraid. <laughs> I think I'll go down the pub and wash the taste out of my mouth. Stanley, you said you were coming. Yes, sir. Uh, no, I'll I tell you what, I'll, I'll join you later down there, mate. Right, Mark. No, child, love, it's me bingo night. I've got to do me washing up. Ma, you are working far too hard. You go straight to your bingo, leave the washing up to me. Oh. Don't tell me you're going to do it. Oh, don't be stupid. Olive. Oh, no, 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 I do it. Ma, no, you no. go to your bingo. No, no, me and Oliver do it. Me and Oliver. Oh, you leave it to us. You take thanks it very much, Stan. Right, right. Ta-ra, love. Hey, just ta-ra, Mum. Ah, come on, Jack. Hey, they're gone out. Leave that. Hey. <laughs> Let's go and watch the telly in the front room. Come on. Hey, come on. Ooh, I'm blown out. It was a lovely meal, Olive. Was it? <laughs> yeah, and I must say, you, uh, you look lovely tonight. <laughs> in what way? Well, um... Well, you cleaned your glasses, didn't you? <laughs> well, sit down. I'll switch on the telly. Come on, cheer up, darling. Oh, I wonder who that can be this time of the night. Uh, uh... <laughs> oh, I can never believe it. Hi. <laughs> You've got a visitor. A visitor? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh. Here, uh, is Arthur out. He's down the pub, mate. Um, uh, uh, I've, uh, Jack, uh, do you excuse me? I want to pop upstairs, you know. Oh, I'll, right. um, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, Olive, uh, I'll, I'll just come round to. Uh, well, to. Uh, well, come round. <laughs> well, you often come round. Oh, yeah, but tonight I come round specially to see you. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to say you're looking a little lovelier each day, and if you weren't a respectable married woman, I might even fancy you. Oh, get out, you rotten pig! <laughs> you just came round to make fun of me. No, no, I 
I didn't honest, I only came round because Stan told me to. Oh. I mean, <laughs> uh, I, I came round because Stan told me that Arthur would be out. Oh, I really think you mean it. Yeah. Up till now, I've always thought of you as a brother. <laughs> yeah, well, I've always thought of you as one too. <laughs> Have you seen... <laughs> Excuse me, Jack. Have you seen my wallet, love? I'm... Oh, it's over there. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> he didn't notice. Are you sure? I'm positive. Thank God for that. He didn't notice. <laughs> you selfish pig! <laughs> What's happened? What's happened? Arthur came in. We were holding hands on the sofa. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't have to worry. He wasn't bothered. He didn't care. He wasn't even jealous. Jealous? No, but, mate, that's what we're going to do. That's what of we're going to set up. Of course yes. Yeah, yeah. What time does Arthur normally get home from work? Um, uh, about half past five. Right, right. Yeah. Five o'clock tomorrow evening, we've yeah, got yeah. to get someone round here yes. that Olive can get in a compromising situation. Yes. In walks Arthur, yeah. gets all steamed up and really jealous. I like it, yeah. I like it. OK. There's only one snag. Who's going to be, be idiot enough to be conned to a situation like that so he can get thumped by Arthur? No, don't worry about that. I've got just the idiot for the job. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's about the story. <laughs> so you'll go round and see Mrs Butler about five o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Right then. Do I look all right, Stan? Uh, well, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> smells a bit musty in here, see what you have. <laughs> that's funny, yeah. Where the hell's Jack got to? What's keeping him? My right, action oh, station's the boat will be here any minute now. Are you sure this is going to work? Of course it's going to work. Now, smart yourself up. I am smart enough. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, right, we need a bit of music. music right. Hey, Jack, Jack, yeah. let us in on it. Who have you conned to get oh, to the job? Oh, wait till you see him, mate. You'll die laughing. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, one of the lads from the depot, is no, it? No, I'm not going to let no, go on, on. No, go on, go on, go on. Well, I tell you what, he thinks he's coming round here to talk to your mum. <laughs> but mum's out. Olive, darling, it's a trick, and it's part of the plan. Mum's out, Arthur's gonna come back, find you on the sofa with the bloke, and you'll have a nice, jealous husband. Look, we'd better have a real, so we ain't got much time. Stan, you be the fella. Look, you sit down. Yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. Darling, come on, sit down. You listen to Jack, listen to Jack. Now, tell him that you fancy the quiet intellectual type. I fancy the quiet intellectual... Not me, him. I fancy the quiet intellectual type. Oh, God. Can't you put a bit more sex in your voice, eh? I fancy the quiet intellectual type. <laughs> I fancy the quiet intellectual good, type. Good, good. Deeper, get it a bit deeper. Oh, fancy. Keep it in the first one. Here, <laughs> what does intellectual mean? It doesn't matter, it's a compliment. Right, right. now, uh, get sexy with him. Right, Put your arm around it. Here, yeah, I don't want nothing to happen. Yeah, we don't want any funny guys on in this house, you know. Look, Uncle Jack's taking care of all that. This bloke won't do anything, that's why I've chosen him. Oh, oh right. Well, right. I must put some more lipstick on, it's in oh. the kitchen. I'll get it, where is it? On the mantelpiece. I'll get it, you can have it. Right. Yeah. 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 Another thing, look, there. he's got a moustache, so say you like a man with a moustache. I like a man with a moustache. That's very good, Now, ask him if it tickles when he kisses. Does it tickle when you kiss? Oh, that's very good, darling. Very good. Get it up. Get it up. Quick, get it up. Oh, yeah, he's here. Quick, hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, smudge me lipstick. Oh, don't worry about that. Come on, take your glasses off. But I can't see without them. Well, you just have to feel your way around. <laughs> Quick, get upstairs, Dad. Yeah, I'll put your hand on the knob. There you go. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. I like a man with a moustache. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is it? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what a marvellous idea getting the window cleaner, mate. <laughs> 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 He's not the one. Hey. No, it doesn't matter. It's working all right. Come on, get out of it. Well, I come to clean the windows. Well, you'll have to come back tomorrow. She's entertaining. You're dead right there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow then, darling. Come on, that's enough of that. Go on, get out of it. Oh, Tommy, you really are blind without your glasses, aren't you? What did you send them away for? I hadn't even started. Well, thank God for that. Is it is him? What, another one? Not another one. The one right now. Good luck, darling, and remember to say exactly what I told you. It's all right, all right. Quick, quick, Hello. Hello, lovey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, all right, all right, I know me my love. <laughs> Did you see that was really nice Blakey? Yeah. <laughs> well, what's he doing here? Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> 
until we used to run. Yeah, good laugh, isn't it? A good <laughs> laugh, you idiot. Oh, come on, now. Look, carry a stand. Oh, good laugh. Shut up. God, they've been chatting up Olive. Well, don't worry, he's afraid of women. He got rid of one of his goldfish when he found out it was a girl. <laughs> and he'll get rid of us too. Don't worry. What do you think he's going to do to me when Arthur thumps him? Oh, don't worry about it, Stan. Nobody else in it, love. I'm here. Yes, but uh, I'll come round to talk to your mum about the RSPCA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a pong, don't we? <laughs> That's a night in Paris. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. very appropriate. <laughs> but where is your mum then, love? Oh, she's out. Hey, huh? But she was inviting me round for tea and toast, and that I would. Uh, do you know you're really very attractive? Eh? Eh? I, I go for the quiet, uh, ineffectual man. <laughs> I'm not ineffectual, love. No. Oh yes, you are. No, no, I'm not. No. Oh, you are. It's no. a compliment. No. Sit down. No, I'll wait for your mum if you don't mind, love. Sit down. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh thanks very much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, Olive? Yes? You got lipstick on your nose. <laughs> oh, never mind that. Uh, tell me, does it tickle when you kiss a man with a moustache? <laughs> I don't know. I've never kissed a man with a moustache. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Nothing, nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no,